Hello, animals. As always, I'm Professor Bones, joined by my Bones bro, Dr. Bones. Greetings, how's your mother? This week we're gonna be discussing character. Because there's so much to cover when discussing character, we're gonna have to break this up over several videos. Ah, uh, three or four should do the trick. Five. We're gonna do five. There are two basic types of characters. There's your main character, our characters, and your supporting characters. Your main character is gonna be our focus over the next handful of videos. The elements we'll be discussing here are not the only elements concerning your main character. Desire, conflict, plot, these are all cubbies directly tied to your main character. But over these next five videos, we'll be focusing on those elements that are very specific to the creation of a main character. When writing characters for short form stories, brevity is your best friend. This is my best friend. Yours is brevity. The audience needs to know who this guy or gal is in the first 10 minutes. To do this, there are a handful of traits you want to give to your main character. Keep in mind, these traits are not limited to just your main character. All of your characters should have them. Main and supporting. The traits that we'll be talking about this week are their individual and moral flaws. An individual flaw is a flaw that affects just your main character and no one else. Examples. An illness. Cancer. An addiction. Crystal meth. An emotional flaw. Guilt. The list goes on. An individual flaw can be anything. Any kind of flaw an individual can possess. Big or small. A character's moral flaw, as I'm sure you can imagine, is a flaw of the moral variety. Some kind of weakness that directly affects others. Dr. Bones, give me some examples. Uh, racism, sexism, prejudice of any kind, criminal activity, infidelity, deception, cowardice, all that good stuff. For a well-drawn character, these flaws should be related. The more these flaws differentiate, but still seem connected, the stronger the characterization. Like an addiction that causes your main character to engage in criminal activities. Directly related, but still separate. Flaws don't always need to be this extreme. The flaw should be appropriate for the type of story that you're telling. The main purpose of a character flaw is to humanize your character and to give them somewhere to go, some way to grow into a better person. Let's continue this next week with character arcs. Same bones time, same bones place.